so it's kind of it's kind of funny, you know. Uh, I was going through some boxes, and I and I know a lot of you know that we just we, I say we just moved. Well, we moved in the summer um, to to our new home here, and uh, I bought a whole bunch of stuff for the house, uh, all kinds of stuff because we needed it. Like all of our furniture and everything is 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 brand new because it was just wasn't worth moving it. Um, so one of the things I had bought and I. <laughs> This is, this is how you know we get way too much stuff delivered here and sent to us from Amazon and whatever. One of the things I bought, uh, I totally forgot that I bought, and I was going through a box today, and I was like, oh my gosh, and it was this right here. Security cameras. I literally bought these ones here. You can see, I bring up my little screen here. Hopefully you can see this here. I'll just get the recording going. Um, here it is, Eufy security camera, Eufy Cam 2C, 2 Cam kit, uh, $300. Now I don't know if I spent $300 on it at that point. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't, I don't know. But uh, I bought them for a couple reasons. Number one is that um, primarily I was gonna use one in the front of the house and one in the rear of the house, but luckily we actually had a company send us a camera for the front, so I'm good, it's, that's done. So uh, this one though, this one, th these two, uh, will be for the back. So one that will sit above the shed, or hopefully when we build a garage in that area, and one that also kind of looks out over the backyard so that we have kind of front side of the house and backyard all kind of done. So I think that would be good. Now, the reason I chose the Yuffie, 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 uh, two reasons. Uh, number one is because of where they're going, I knew that those areas wouldn't have necessarily any power for it to plug into, especially above the shed. It's, there's no power there, so I, I, it needs to be battery operated. So 180 days on a battery. So pretty much half a year, which I guess in a, in a, in a way, it's kind of good that I'm doing it now because 180 days, if I mount it now, which is the beginning of December, um, the battery should last till the spring. I hope in that ballpark, right? We should we should get into the spring, which would be nice. Um, second one, which was important, and none of my other cameras do this, is works with Apple HomeKit. So I, I was curious if this means that the camera can be seen like through an Apple TV, and I'm not 100% sure if it can or not, but curious in regards to what that means. Um, I do have their app downloaded already because I've been spending the morning, once I found this, figuring out uh, what I need to do. And it's it's this little guy here called Eufy Security. It, that, there's the app, it's, I'm inside it right now. Uh, so basically I'm logged in, I'm ready, to, I'm ready to install cameras. So right off the bat, just so you guys are aware, this is not gonna be an in-depth review of this. I'm gonna do a quick unboxing. Uh, I'm gonna go, uh, well maybe I may even set it up here in the house before I go set it up outside. And uh, really, I'm just hoping it works and that it does everything it's supposed to, you know? Yeah. Okay, so again, 713 ratings. Four and a half stars. Most people seem to love it, right? It's you can see this guy's license plate, which is awesome. 180 day batteries, different kind of color modes. I did like that actually. It I believe it has a, like a little tiny spotlight. Uh, you can shoot it at night in color, or you can shoot it in infrared mode, depending on what you want. Uh, it has a little base that you can plug into, or you not that you can, that you have to plug into your router. Router, router, whatever, whoever says whatever, you know what I mean. Um, which means that the pairing of the cameras to the base should be super easy. The other thing that I really like about this is that this is, this is like a starter kit, but let's say you wanted more cameras. Let's say I decided, oh, I really like these and I'd like to get another camera. Well, you can get another camera and you just kind of add it to the mix. So I kind of like that. Uh, these are just the 1080p versions. They do have a 2K version, I know, and they may may have uh, 4K versions. I don't, no idea. If I go to the Eufy store, 
what does it tell us here? Security cameras. Do they have 4K versions? I don't know. Uh, what is this guy? 2C, that's what I have right now. This guy here, 2K. So maybe 2K is the only one, but still, that one's solar powered. Oh, I wonder if I, can, I could add that. That's expensive. That's pricey. So maybe my 299 is pretty good. All right, let's crack open this box because it's the only way I'm gonna get it installed is by actually opening up the package. Oh, I thought I paper cut it myself. No, I know it didn't, but you gotta, you gotta love a good paper cut. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, anyway, here's the box. All right, here's the box. Blah. I like this suit. Free, no monthly, no monthly fee. So many of these cameras are like, hey, all this cloud stuff, but you get to pay extra for that. I don't even know if this has cloud stuff. What I think this does is that, you know, you can put in the base station. The base station has, I believe, its own storage in the base station. So what happens is when the cameras see stuff, they wirelessly send the data from the cameras to the base station and your app basically connects to the base station, which is great because if somebody steals your cameras or whatever, all the footage is still inside your house, right? Now, if they get in your house after that and steal the base station, well, then that's what insurance is for. I'm guessing, right? Insurance. So 100% wire free, 180 days bring that up a bit more. No monthly fees, secure local storage. So 16 gigs internal. Yeah. So it's based in the, the base station part that connects to your router. Um, so that's where it's going to store. Uh, and it is, it stores for three months and then it just kind of deletes the old, it's kind of like a, a car dash cam, right? It just blows out the old stuff to make room for the new stuff. Colorful night vision, human detection, smart image enhancement, works with voice assistants, okay? Connect with your devices at Google Assistant, Amazon Alexa, for complete control of your surveillance. So I'm also wondering if this will be able to show, because I have a, an Amazon and a Google the screens, so I wonder if those will work. IP67, good, 100 dB intruder siren, Good. Extend your Wi-Fi signal. Home Base 2 has added functionality to serve as a Wi-Fi extender. Ah, oh, and military grade security. It's exciting. Should have I should have installed this months ago. All right. It's a nice box though. You got to you got to give it to them. That's a well well presented. I think so, for sure. Ready? Okay. It's like you're getting a present, without question. It's like you're getting a little present. That's nice. SIM card uh, removal, and I'm thinking this may be something, may, I don't know. A lot of these, like that take SIM cards, like the, the cameras, a lot of the cameras we have, they have their own like little stylus, this SIM card removal thing, but it's for the SD card so that it's not easy to pull out. I'm gonna leave that there. I'm sure I'll figure it out. Uh, you do get some little stickers. These are gonna be to put on your doors or windows to tell burglars that they're being recorded and that they should smile. Um, and then these are gonna be little uh, mounting screw positioning cards. So you can put these on your, where you're gonna mount it and then you can screw through this. Cool, that's good stuff, good stuff. You have security manual, mount the camera, quick start guide. Oh, good, look, there we go. Apple HomeKit setup guide. Cool, that's what I want. So I should probably read this because last time I was trying to set up something on HomeKit, they were like, I, I got it all installed, I got it mounted, it was all great. I was like, cool, so how do I do the home kit? And then I was like, on the bottom of the hardware, and I'm like, oh, because it's all mounted. So, step one, power on your home base, enable home kit on, on the home base, find the QR code on the bottom of the home base. So everything looks like it's on the home base. App and directly add the accessory by scanning the QR code. Step three, add the cams to the can to the base. Okay. I I'm guessing we would do that last. It's a little paper cut. It's, it's tiny. It's there. There's a little bit of blood. A little bit. A little bit. Okay. But that's cool. I like that. 
Still not sure what the little, little, this little, this little guy's for, but that's okay. I'll figure it out. I'll get there. Ooh, oh, it's smaller than I thought. You know, looking at the people online, because I do that, right? It's little. Yuffie, security. Yeah, that's tiny. And on the back, you got your power, USB. Uh, maybe you can add extra storage with the USB, possibly, or maybe that's just for like firmware updates. I'm not too sure. Uh, there's your sync alarm on off. Uh, and there's your ethernet cable that you're gonna plug in directly to your router. It's pretty though. It's pretty. <laughs> it's pretty. I gotta give it that. And these are littler too. A little bit of weight. My guess would be that weight is majority is battery. Uh, there's a little tripod mount right there. So this is, I'm guessing, where you would, uh, there's got to be little wall mounts in here. You just screw them on there. Now, one of the other Eufy cams is probably one of the more newer ones. It has a magnetic mount, which I like. If I were to probably buy it today, I might look at those, but maybe they're way more expensive and I don't want that. Remove the film. Yeah, I'm down with that. Yep. Okay, and they do have, I see in the bottom, they, they, these also have little QR codes on the bottom. So my guess is, before you go mount it into the wall outside, you may want to do all your setups while you're sitting here at a desk so that you can see the bottoms of everything. Let me take this one off too. Yep. All right, so far so good, so far so good. Is that it? That can't be it. There's a, there's, the box in here, aha, aha, things are falling all over the place. This is all your goodies. This is your goodness. So these, these here, these are what we mount into the walls, right? So this, this is where those screws come in handy. Maybe this is where the SIM card is used. Maybe it's to, so that you can't, that wouldn't make any sense. Who cares about the mount, really? Okay, so this, this is a little bendy, okay? This, I don't, does it just? Okay, so it just unscrews. And basically you would mount that onto the spot and then, then you just tighten this on. All right, that's easy, that's easy, right? And then this, this will screw onto this, which you can, which you can bend around. And my guess is the tighter you, yeah, if you loosen that up a little bit, these bend, right? It bends a bit, and then you just snug that up when it's in the spot, which tightens that. Okay, and you get two of those. This is gonna be your power for your, uh, for your this, for your this part, okay? You also get an ethernet cable, which is good. Nice long one, looks, looks, looks ethernet-y, yes. You get, oh, these are these are the cables to charge the cameras, of course, right? You must get two of those. And, and we will make sure that these are charged up fully before we go and plug them in. Now, the sad part is, and I'll say it, the sad part is they only give you one cable. So you got two cameras, one cable. So would've been nice of them to be like, here's two cameras and two cables, so you can charge both your cables up together. Nope. And then last but not least, you get a bunch of anchors and some screws, and those of course are gonna be to, to hook, hook these in to the walls. And it looks like maybe, because I'd say, I'd say, you really only need, right, like one, two, four, right? Four, because two for this, two for that. And they give you two sets, so, okay. Seems like everything. Um, that That's good stuff, right? So my guess is, my guess is, I'm gonna need my phone. My card filled up just now, so. Glad it happened now. Um, my guess is I'm gonna have to be doing some running around to plug this into the router, but um, just just seeing this right now, Ufi, my devices, add a device. See, I can, yeah, so this is the C, right? So if I did that, 
please add home base. Yeah, so you gotta do your home base. So my guess is, my guess is, this is just, just a home base, home base. Connect it to your router's LAN port, power on. So I'm gonna do all this stuff. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this all connected uh, and I'll just tell you the experience. How's that? Because again, there's a ton of other videos of guys going through all of it. You can, you can go watch one of those after. We just wanna make sure it works. Okay, hold on. Okay, so I am uh, back. I'm back. Does that look like it's focused? It looks like it's focused. I'm back and uh, we got we got the base station hooked up. Super easy. You plug it into your ethernet, you plug it into the wall, you open the app, you say add a base station. You make, make sure you scan the little QR code on the bottom. Make sure your phone and is connected to the network that you want it to be on because it uses that. But that's, but that's it, it's super easy. Uh, but we are now, I'm just gonna get my screen recording here going. We are now going to try and uh, put one of these on. And I figured we, we could show you guys how to do this. So let's, let's add a device. And this is a, this is a 2C, I believe it is. Keep the camera and home base within one meter. Next. Press the sync button for two seconds until you hear the beep. Oh, so maybe, maybe, maybe no. I have to do this in the other room. So I'm gonna do both these. Little heads up. I thought, I thought we'd be able to do something wonderful, but it's not gonna happen because we, we have to be all by your base station. But I'll be back. Hold on. All right, well, we're back inside and I'm just gonna give you a little, a little screen recording here. So install wise, super simple. You just, you just have to be kind of close to everything. So my recommendation when you're setting this up is go over to wherever your router is, set up the, the base station. Again, the base station is really simple. You plug the ethernet into your router, you plug the power into the wall, you go through the app. The app will actually show you everything. It's, it's super simple. It took me like 30 seconds. Um, Setting up the cameras, again, I would do like in the same room because they do actually want you to be close to the base station because the base station needs to be able to hear uh, this kind of signal that it sends out. So on the top of each of the cameras, there's a little sync button. So you basically just have that, the camera there, you add the camera on your app. It'll ask you to hold that button down till it makes a beep. Once it makes a beep, you hit the okay on your screen. It synchronizes, it sets itself up, it asks you to name the camera and you're, you're golden. Do one, do two. Then make sure you just remember which one is which because when you're setting them up in your app or setting them up in general that you don't hang them in the wrong thing and because you get to name them, right? So you'll see here, I have a backyard camera and I have a garage camera. Uh, they're easy to, to undo and I probably will undo them tonight just to charge them fully. Um, but here we go, backyard camera, full Wi-Fi, full Wi-Fi. I was actually surprised because um, the garage one really is fairly close to the router, but the backyard one is actually on the opposite side of the house on the deck so that I can see the backyard. And uh, I'm shocked that it's actually getting like decent connection back to the network at all. Uh, but but there you go, so there's your base station, you can go into settings, you got your connection here, uh, you can set your time, usually it pulls it all off of your phone so it should be fine. Your storage, because it does show that you've got 16 gigs, right? We have been protecting for one day, four motions have been recording, and those were of course me playing with the cameras, whatever. Um, but you can clear it, you can repair it, you can format it. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Uh, prompt volumes, notifications. Right? Do you want notifications to come on? Do you want notifications from Keybed, from the app, from geofencing? I got them all turned on. Whatever. Uh, working mode, uh, performance. That's a beta, but it is. Um, and all kinds of stuff. Pair devices. Restart, reset, remove, whatever. And if you were to have to add another one, you just add device and do the same thing that you did with the other cameras. It's actually quite simple. Connection wise, hit my garage. You'll see it fires up here, preparing, done, connected. 
The other nice thing I didn't even realize, and none of my other lights, lights, other cameras have this, is they do have like their own little spotlights or floodlights. Not that these are gonna be very bright, but you can remotely turn this on, which I actually really like. So if for whatever reason you there is a notification, and you're like, I can't see it, you can at least click this to turn the spotlight on and off. So I did try it outside, worked fine. Um, but we actually have a floodlight on this garage here. Uh, just turn it like maybe this way, you guys be able to see it here. Um, and that floodlight uh, will light that area up no problem at all so really cool and you do have things at the bottom if you want to record or just cut this or little settings here uh, you can even go to an alarm right so if you want to set up an alarm you can so if something's happening you can get that alarm siren to go off and deafen you and then this is my backyard camera again this is the one I'm just shocked that it has the ability to connect quality is coming out is fantastic like it's super good so uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm super pleased. I'm, I'm actually thinking I, I may actually get a couple more of these because the quality is great. Um, and, and here, here's the big features for me. And these, these I actually really like when you go in here, right. And you click on your devices and you click on your home base, you can go in, uh, and you'll have a home kit set up. Now, when you run these two, uh, at the beginning, it'll actually just do firmware updates because it has to firmware update like everything. So the cameras have to get updates to be able to work with it. Um, and both of them, you have to do HomeKit authentication and you have to do HomeKit security. So you do them both and then you're good. And then you gotta learn more and it shows you how to actually add these to HomeKit. Again, it was painless. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it again because if I try to do it again, I'll probably break it and nobody wants that, but it functions beautifully. And I've got it working now on Google Home, on Alexa. Alexa, show the backyard camera. Okay. because I have the screens for both of them. And this is the only one, but it works with HomeKit, which means I can be in front of my TV with my Apple TV and ask Apple to show me the cameras and it'll actually show each camera independently or it'll actually thumbnail them so you see all the cameras at the same time and you can click on one to make it big. You can put a camera just in like in a picture in picture in the corner. <sighs> it's fantastic, that's exactly what I wanted this four. So it is completely doing what I wanted it to do. So I'm, I'm over the moon happy with this. And probably one of the reasons that I think these may be ones that I, I get some more, um, just to get different areas of the outside of the house. Yeah. Um, that, that's it for me today, guys. Uh, this is the Yuffie, Yuffie, I think it's the 2C. Yeah. Yuffie Cam 2C. It's a dual cam, like starter kit. Came in around three hundred dollars, um, but fantastic, especially for for like Apple users, and of course Alexa and Google users for sure. But for those of us with Apple stuff, um, not too many security cams actually work with Apple stuff. So this this is a big plus, big plus. Um, that's it. I like it. I like it a lot. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit the little notification bell. I'll leave links down below to this. I got it on Amazon, of course, like I get lots of my stuff. Um, and I'll probably do uh, maybe a follow-up video in the spring to let you guys know if it made it through the winter because really, on, like that's, that's when the batteries are gonna take the biggest hit, right? So, well, we'll see you in the spring, I guess.